All right, guys, we can just go ahead and get started with questions. Hey, Robert, all yours if you want to start off. Yeah, all right. Um, so, obviously, you had four to your five starters in foul trouble today. And um, I'm just wondering if you were expecting more than 20 points off the bench from your bench. I mean, I, yeah, I'm sure I was expecting us to do better, for sure. Coach, systematically, um, Virginia Tech, um, I, I know I, just what did you I know they're a pretty good team coming into this. Um, what did they present to you leading into this game? And then execution wise, um, were there things that went well? And then where were some other areas that when, when you came in based off the scout that, that maybe they threw at you different? Um, you know, one of the one of the differences is that we couldn't really play the lineups we wanted to play because we were in foul trouble. So it's hard to say. Uh, no, they did exactly what we did. They, I mean, everything we thought they were going to do, they did. Uh, we needed to probably, uh, you know, for us, I thought offensively, we had we lacked a lot of discipline today. So we want to get better offensively with, you know, us having, in my opinion, it's embarrassing to have three assists and 16 turnovers in a game. Uh, so I'm um, sorry, there's, I don't know what's going on here with the clanking. Um, but I think a lot of it was our lack of patience on offense. Like we, we did a lot of one-on-one, -on -one, uh, drive and attack, and we knew they were going to be kind of, uh, piled in on the inside. They pack it in and, and we didn't necessarily always hit that one more. And then again, we had another very poor, um, shooting night, I think at the end of the day, but we've got to get our offense clicking better on all cylinders. Um, and that's something that we'll work on in the next few days. Uh, we've got to, you know, I don't know that we fouled that many times, but we did foul them. No, I don't, not to the numbers that the stat sheet alludes to. We definitely didn't foul them that much. And I, I feel like we got fouled a little bit more than the stat sheet shows. So that's something that I don't know how much of that is in our control, but we do have to, you know, make sure that we put ourselves in position to play as much as we can with our feet. And, uh, and I thought Kitley had an amazing game. She, she played really well, both from the free throw line. She hit her little, you know, eight footers that, you know, we, I thought we did a decent job of getting her outside of the paint. Uh, and then every time we fell asleep, maybe on our, on our drops to the basket, I thought their guards did a great job hitting her for that one more inside. So credit to Virginia Tech. They played a heck of a game. Yeah, I figured I'd ask just about Kitley and and her skill level too, because I, I feel like that was the case where you're able to get her outside the paint. But th those eight footers, when you have someone who can hit that, and um, just, yeah, and she's six six. I mean, like, yeah. I thought we read, and then I thought every time we did have an outstretched arm, I don't know, I I have to go back and look at the game. I just didn't see the fouls that were called. Uh, I just didn't see them, so I've got to go back and look, and really assess it for myself.